Hi everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Kelly. Hi if you're new. So happy Monday. I hope you're having a great day. I of course had to throw on my Monday t-shirt because you guys know Monday is my favorite day of the week. I'm going to be sharing with you guys in this video how to have a great week. This video is a little bit different for my channel but I love being able to share stuff that's helped me so maybe it'll help you. But my first biggest tip is to start early. I've always been a morning person whether that means waking up at 5 30 to go work out or or waking up at 8.30 on weekends to kind of get my day started. And I mean, I do sleep in occasionally, but usually I don't feel as productive when I sleep in, so I like to wake up early. And I just find I get so much more done in the morning rather than saying like, oh, I'll just stay up late and sleep in, but I'll get it all done tonight. It just doesn't work for me. Typically, I wake up between 6.30 and 7.30 each day, and I find I just get so much stuff done in that little window of time in the morning. But my second tip is to start fresh each day. So whatever happened the day before, whether it be good or bad, you have to move on. It already happened. It's in the past. So you just have to have a clean mindset. I love thinking of my planner as this. So like I always write my to-do list down on my planner page and whatever I didn't get done that day, it doesn't even matter because that page is over with. I start on a new page and I just, whatever I didn't get done, I put onto the new page and that's me starting fresh. And my third tip is super big and this is planning. So again, I mentioned my planner. I have been using the day designer and my little Pulitzer planner I'm like a planner junkie but so planning is super important but I love being able to plan my outfits each week but on the weekend Saturday and Sunday sometimes I'll do it on Monday depending how much stuff I get done on the weekends I will plan out all of my outfits for the whole week and I will just fold them up and put them like in my dresser or on my closet or just have like a little special area for them and this saves so much time in the morning because I don't have to pick out each outfit every single day okay? and I like to wear fun outfits and I love to mix and match outfits but I can spend like 30 minutes in the morning doing that and I will waste so much time when if I spend those 30 minutes on one day planning out all five outfits rather than doing that in the morning making a huge mess in my room where it's just like then I have to clean that up whereas if I do it all at once plan out every single outfit for the week the big mess it's just one mess to clean up rather than five different messes from every morning building up and that's one of my tips and tricks on how I keep my room clean all the time too and I find that really helpful it just saves so much time in the morning plus I feel like you can really enjoy that time to plan out your outfits and it makes it less stressful and if you guys would want to see a video all about how I plan my outfits be sure to give this video a big thumbs up because I do have some tips and tricks to share with you guys on that but another sort of planning is meal prepping and I have been meal planning slash meal prepping for a while now and I really noticed a big difference with that as well. It just cuts that level of stress down for your week because it's kind of like, oh, I already know what I'm eating today, you know, like, and you don't have to go buy food. You kind of do it all at once and it just makes your week really smooth and less stressful and I think that's really important for having a great week. So my fourth tip is to plan your week and plan your day ahead of time. So again, I'm going to be mentioning my planner. So I like to use my my, like monthly spread and I will plan out all of my stuff I have to do that week. I just want to have an idea of what you have to do for the whole week. So like I know on Tuesday I have spin class and then on Thursday I have spin class again. So you kind of have a little idea of what your week looks like and I find that really helpful and I know a lot of people that I've been following on productivity tips plan out their next day ahead like the night before so they'll write their to-do list for tomorrow before they go to bed so they kind of go to bed knowing what they have to do but then they also wake up and they already have that like set plan I personally like doing it in the morning just because it overwhelms me and then I can't sleep as well but honestly I think both of them work really well and another little side tip going off of that is to review the week before so if you're gonna be planning out your week and if you use your planner you can kind of look back and see how your week went and if anything didn't go as planned you can figure out why it didn't work that way but then you can also think about how to fix that to make the next week even better so I think that's really important too so my next tip is to get it out of the way and this one has been a game changer for me and this is basically getting the hardest task on your to-do list done first and there's some things on my to-do list where I'm like I just don't want to do it and I will literally push it off for days and days and then you really regret it because you're like it would have been easier to do it at the very beginning before it got even harder so the tip is to get it done first I'm still working on this as you can tell I just mentioned how I push things off it really does help when you just get it that more difficult task 
tasks done right away just because then you don't have to worry about it and it makes your rest of your week less stressful and just kind of easier so my next step is to set goals for your week now, I love setting goals I set yearly goals quarterly goals monthly goals and I think weekly goals are really important as well. And you want your goals to be more specific. So say one of your goals for this, this upcoming week is to start waking up earlier. You don't want to say, I'm going to wake up early every single day this week. Because what really is early? You need to be specific with your goals and say, I'm going to wake up at 7 a.m. Monday through Friday. You know, and that's more achievable because you can either say, yes, I did that or no, I didn't rather than kind of woke up early every single day and so my next tip and this one's really helpful and it's look forward to something whether that be like oh Friday night I'm gonna go hang out with my friends so I have to get all my stuff done so I have free time just something that helps you like pull through the week whether that be weekend plans I love looking forward to my early morning spin classes just because it kind of gets me out of bed and I'm like oh I'm so excited so that really helps my next tip is one of my favorites and it's go out of your way to do something nice every single day. So this is like spreading small acts of kindness. I really, really do believe in like that good karma where when you do something nice, something nice is gonna come back to you. And I truly believe that whether you just hold the door open for someone or like say thank you, you know, like those small little things really do make a difference in someone's day. It could even be saying like, I really like your shoes to a stranger, who knows, but it will make you feel better. It's kind of like a fun way to challenge yourself each day during the week and it just helps the week go by because you're kind of like feeling good about yourself as well my next tip is don't beat yourself up so what I mentioned earlier like when you want to reflect on the week before or set new goals for yourself if you don't achieve that don't beat yourself up just keep doing the best you can because when you start beating yourself up then it's just kind of like mm, why should I do this but you have to keep going you can do it and honestly it will get better and my next tip I really do struggle with this, but it makes the biggest difference and it's get more sleep. So I think you're supposed to get like anywhere from six to 10 hours of sleep each night. I range more in the six, seven hours. I know eight and 10 is like where you really want to be, but getting enough sleep is so important because it lets your body rest and you feel more refreshed afterwards. And honestly, I can tell when I don't get enough sleep because I don't want to do anything and I'm just like I can't move so sleeping is so important I definitely recommend it if you're really on top of your a game maybe get on a really good sleep schedule where you can go to bed and wake up every single day at the same time I've heard that's really good for you I have yet to reach that level but it's one of my goals the next tip I have been doing since the beginning of the year and it's really been a game changer for me and this is journaling so I've mentioned this in a video before but I seriously love my time with my journal I write it on my to-do list so that I'm like forced to do it I only spend like 10 minutes on it and who doesn't have 10 minutes you guys you can seriously make 10 minutes out of your day whether that be before you go to bed, go to bed wake up 10 minutes earlier I just feel so much better after I write in my journal because you can write anything down in it it's private no one has to know what you're writing about even though it could be silly stuff like I write down some stuff like wow it's so pretty outside today you know but it just feels so good being able to express yourself and write down what you're thinking kind of clear your head a little bit and another thing that I've been doing since the beginning of the year is a gratitude journal so I'm a big believer in gratitude and being thankful for things and just like appreciating your life and like what's around you and everything so with my gratitude journal I write down five things that I'm thankful for every single day and I've noticed a positive change in my life like I just look at things differently now and I really recommend it it only takes like five extra minutes on top of journaling and it just feels so good and I try to challenge myself to be grateful for five different things than the day before kind of thing so it's like not the same things every single day and my next thing is to get some fresh air and enjoy the sunshine if you can or if it is nice outside because fresh air is so important it's just a great way to really enjoy your week and my last and final tip is kind of extra you don't have to do this but it's to work out and stretch and just kind of like work your body and get your blood moving a little bit it's a great stress reliever it releases endorphins so you feel happier after you do it and honestly I love working out because it's like my own personal time so it's kind of like my me time if you will so it just makes me look forward to it 
I like to work out in the mornings. I like I wake up and I just feel like I have like something I have to go do, which is great for building that routine, which is awesome for having a great week. I hope you guys found this video helpful. I love being able to share all my tips and tricks with you guys. If you have any tips that you like to do to have a great week, be sure to let me know in the comments down below. So again, give this video a big thumbs up if you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you guys very soon with my next video. Bye guys.